Hi everybody, it's Gemma, welcome back to Pampered Wolf and welcome to March Faves and Fails. We're gonna go straight into the news, then any changes of opinion, and then go on to the fails and then the favourites. So let's crack on with it. If you are new here, hi, my name's Gemma. I upload two to three videos here on YouTube every single week and I'm also on Instagram if you fancy checking me out over there. It's running across the bottom of the screen now. I would really, really appreciate it if by the end of this video you've liked what you've watched, you come and join the Pampered wolf pack they are a seriously friendly bunch by clicking on that subscribe button and also the notification bell so you don't miss any future uploads let's jump straight into the news Great news if you're in the UK, Refa have started shipping to the UK again. So they used to ship to the UK and then they stopped shipping to the UK because of Brexit and also COVID. They've now started shipping to the UK again. So if you're wanting to try Refa brushes for the first time or you're wanting to restock on any of your favourite brushes, you can now do it. So I did a video not so long ago about all my favorite facial brushes. So foundation brush, blush brush, bronzer brushes, all those sorts of things were in there, concealer brushes. If you haven't seen that already, I will link that up here for you. Some of my favorites were refer brushes. They've also released some brand new brushes. One of my personal favorite brushes is this one here, which is the number 29 brush, which if you can see has a really beautiful fine end on it. It's great for doing liner. It's also great for going underneath the lower lash line. I'm in love with it and they do some great bundles on there as well to save you some money. So that's the first bit of news. The next bit of news is that I am going to be taking a little bit of time off. We've got a lot going on here and the kids are off for the next couple of weeks. So I'm going to be spending time with the kids but also trying to sort things like builders and <laughs> insurance and everything like that. If you didn't see one of my previous videos and I can't remember which one I actually told everybody in. I had a leak in my house, so it was quite a considerable leak. So we've now got industrial drying equipment in our house. So uh, yes, it's, it's a lot. So I'm gonna be taking a little bit of time off. You will still get some videos, but it might not be three videos a week. So please make sure that you've hit that subscribe button and also the notification bell, because I'm not quite sure what days I'm gonna be uploading for the next couple of weeks. So there you go. <laughs> So let's move on to changes in opinion. This is only a semi-change in opinion and it isn't even my opinion change. This is my mum's opinion change. So a couple of weeks ago, we did a couple of videos, one about my mum's dislikes in makeup and also one about my mum's new makeup loves. I had her on FaceTime. It was a very difficult video to edit, let me tell you. <laughs> But we did it and most of you enjoyed it. If you haven't seen those already, I will link them up here for you. But in the dislikes video, there was a section for, you know, a bit indifferent. I don't love it, but I also don't hate it, that sort of thing. And in that category was the Shantakai Future Skin Cushion Skincare Foundation. Now my mum is the shade vanilla, if anybody wants to know. So in that video, my mum said that this was very, very beautiful when she first put it on, but it just slid off her face and she hardly had any on by the end of the day. I FaceTimed my mum yesterday and she had this on and she'd been walking all day. She'd done over 15,000 steps out walking with a friend. She'd also had a mask on and this was fully intact. So she's not quite sure what happened when she first tested it out and it completely slid off her face, but at the moment it's staying on. So I'm not saying that this is a complete change of opinion. I'm not saying my mum now loves this. At the end of the day, there is absolutely no way on earth my mum would pay 120 pounds for a foundation. It's just not happening. But because I've given this to her, she will probably wear it and she will enjoy wearing it. Let's move on to the fails. Now there is only one fail in the month of March, but it's a pretty big one as far as I'm concerned. I really don't like this product. The marketing of this product I found a little bit wishy-washy, a little bit mushed. There really wasn't one specific way to use it and I don't feel like it works regardless of how you use it. So um, yeah, it's a pretty big fail for me. I really thought that I was gonna love this product. This is the Dior Backstage Face and Body Powder No Powder. So. You're supposed to be able to use this on its own as like, not really a foundation, but this is supposed to airbrush the skin. It's supposed to mattify the skin. It's just supposed to make your skin look a better version of itself. And there are 
several shades of this. So they marked it as a translucent powder, so that for me would be a setting powder that's supposed to not look powdery. So, and I do agree that it doesn't look powdery. I do agree that, you know, I've got this on my finger now. I, I do agree that it doesn't look powdery. You can also use this over the top of another foundation just to airbrush and mattify and increase longevity of that foundation. And I have tried this with the Dior Backstage Face and Body Foundation and it looked awful, absolutely awful. I've tried this with other foundations as well, just as awful, and I've tried this on its own and it looked horrendous. So this clings to my dry patches. This also, although it doesn't look powdery, is very, very quick to look cakey and heavy on the skin. And I find that if you are putting it over the top of a foundation, unless that foundation has already been powdered down, this sticks to any tacky areas on the skin. I wore this yesterday just to try it out for the final time to see if I could get it to work for me. And uh, I actually walked up to do the school run with huge patches around my nose, a huge patch of this that had clung to my cheek. It just didn't work for me. Now, if you can get this to work for you, absolutely fantastic. Do let everybody know in the comments section, but this is a serious, serious fail for me. Another thing I need to make you aware of is, uh, yeah, I don't like it. <laughs> Have I said that already? I'll say it again. I don't like it. Luckily, it wasn't massively expensive like on the Shantakai scale, but um, it's still a huge waste of money for me. I didn't like it. Do you get that? I didn't like it. <laughs> Let's move on to the favourites because you all know that's the bit that makes me really happy. This first product I adore. It's absolutely phenomenal. It's a brand new product from Q&A and it's their Green Tea Daily Toner. Now considering this is water consistency, you can apply this on a cotton pad, reusable cotton pad, or you can just splash this into the palm of your hands and apply this to the skin. It's so beautiful and it's hydrating. And I feel like it's nourishing, which is weird to say, considering it is that really watery consistency. My skin feels phenomenal when I have this on. Super hydrating, really smoothing, cooling, calming. I mean, what is not to like in this formula? It's so so beautiful. It really is so beautiful. Jam packed full of those fantastic antioxidants to protect against free radical damage. I just love it. Really, really like it. It's not super expensive. It's something that you can dip in and out of in your skincare routine. So you don't need to use it on a daily basis. If you don't want to, you can just use it as and when you need it. But I've been using it every day. I just think it's lovely. The next product I want to mention isn't actually designed for use as I've been using it. So this is the Ultra Repair Cream from First Aid Beauty. Absolutely love this. You can use this on the face, you can use this on the body, you can use it on the feet. I personally have been using this on my hands and the reason I love it so much on my hands is because it doesn't leave that oily residue on the surface. So as soon as I've put this on, I feel like I can get you know, on with absolutely everything else that I need to get on with without having to sit there doing this, <laughs> trying to dry my hands off. It's just lovely. It really is lovely. So multi-purpose product. This is intense hydration for dry parched skin. So you can literally use this everywhere. I have been known to use this on my face, but weirdly, I prefer something if it is going to be ultra hydrating when I'm using it on my face to have that quite heavy feel to it. That's just my personal preference and this doesn't have that. So if you're wanting something that is super nourishing, super hydrating for your facial skin and um, you don't want that heavy oily residue feel, this is definitely one that is worth trying. I really like it really, really like it. It's not new. It's been around for absolutely ages. I'm just a little bit late to the game. So the next product in my favorites list is for those people that are a little bit more like me that want to feel that nourishment, that heavy cream on the skin. This one isn't super heavy, but you can definitely feel it doing its work. So uh, if you have a little bit more to spend, 
I highly recommend trying this out. This is from Drunk Elephant and it's the F Barn Electrolyte Water Facial. This is actually a facial mask, but you can use this overnight. So you can keep it on overnight. You don't have to wash this off. So this is absolutely amazing for the skin barrier. If your skin barrier is slightly impaired, if your skin is dehydrated, I definitely recommend this. This is full of antioxidants. It's got niacinamide in there, also squalane, loads of ceramides, omega fatty acids, and uh, this is just a proper skin quencher. I don't use this on a daily basis, so although the price tag is a little bit more, shall we say, than the Ultra Prayer Cream from First Aid Beauty, I feel like it's worth it because I'm not using this on a daily basis. This is gonna last me a really long time. So I will pick this up as and when I feel like my skin is thirsty and really needs a boost. You can use this in the daytime also underneath makeup because although you can feel it doing its job, it doesn't leave a massive oily residue on the surface of the skin. So yeah, I really, really love this one. Definitely worth giving it a go. Moving on to the next favourite, which is also skincare. I've been trying out loads of new skincare in the month of March. In fact, this is actually from February. It's just I couldn't fit it in the February faves and fails, so I've put it in this month instead. This is from Murad and it is the prebiotic three-in-one multi-mist. This is peptide rich, it's super hydrating, it balances the skin's microbiome, which is absolutely fantastic, great for the skin barrier, great for all skin types as well. So if you've got oily skin, you can use this. If you've got super dry skin, you can also use this. This does contain a fragrance though, so if you are sensitive to fragrances, I would definitely give this one a miss. Although I don't find the fragrance really overpowering. This doesn't give me a headache. It's got a really pleasant fragrance and a super, oh, just squirted that right in my eye. It's got a super fine mist. I just love the smell of this. Absolutely beautiful. And I tend to use this as a primer for my makeup and I also use this as a setting spray for my makeup as well. So I don't tend to use it the way that you would probably usually use a facial mist, but I would keep this with me throughout the day and anytime I feel like I just need a boost, I take this out and just spritz it on my skin. I really, really like it. And for me, it does, it smells divine, absolutely divine. Let's move on to a makeup favourite and I would definitely give this a go if you are a fan of liquid blushes. These are so super inexpensive and they look beautiful on the skin. So these are from Revolution and they are part of their super dewy range. So I am in love with these. I've been trialling these out for the last few days and they look stunning on the cheek, absolutely stunning. These are also great as an eye color. These are great across the bridge of the nose. I've used these just in my hairline to make it look like I've been out in the sun a little bit too long. They are multi-purpose and they are beautiful on the skin. So I'll show you the swatches of these from left to right. I've got Fake the Flush, Flushing for You, and You Got Me Blushing. These are so beautiful. I actually thought that You Got Me Blushing would be slightly too deep for my skin tone. It's really not, you can sheer it out. I also thought that Fake the Flush would be too bright for me, and it's really not, really, really not. And for five pounds each, these are a steal. And I think I actually bought them on a three for two as well. So I got all three of these for 10 pounds. Absolute bargain. So in the same order for Revolution, I couldn't help myself but buy one of their candles. So this is one of their scented candles. It's called Call Me Angel and this actually screamed out to me because my dad has called me Angel since I was first born. If he called me Gemma, I would be like, what have I done? <laughs> This is so beautiful. These come in lots of different fragrances. So this one, like I said, is Call Me Angel. And uh, the fragrance is a flute. The fragrance is, <laughs> I can't say that today, a fruity and floral, difficult tongue twister, 
fruity and floral rhubarb and peony and it's got hints of raspberry in there does it actually say on here yes top notes of rhubarb raspberry and grapefruit uh, heart notes rose lily black currant and peony and base notes musk sandalwood and vanilla and i don't feel like the vanilla is super strong I don't like vanilla in my candles. It just makes me feel a little bit sick. It's a very sickly fragrance. You may absolutely love it. I can't smell the vanilla in here, so that's a bonus for me. I can definitely smell rhubarb and I can definitely smell raspberry and it's just so fresh and so nice. And because of my leak, I've not wanted my house to smell damp, so I've burnt this a lot. So I think this is up to, does it say? I think somewhere it said that it was up to a 40 hour burning candle. Yes, it says it here. Candle burns for up to 40 hours. I have had this on so much and um, I mean, there's hardly any come out of it. So I, I was pleasantly surprised. Really love it. And I know it's not makeup or skincare, but I wanted to put it in here because oh, it's so nice, really nice. The last product I want to mention in this video is one that I'm not going to show because it's in my car and uh, Wes took my car to work. Well, I say my car, it's our car. Wes took our car to work. It's my car. So I can't actually show you this product, but I still want to include it in this month's faves and fails because I was going to include it in last month's and I couldn't fit it in. And it's such a phenomenal product, which also isn't skincare or makeup related but it's kind to the skin, so I want to mention it. So as I don't have this to hand to show you and to actually put on, I'm gonna show you a photograph of this of probably somebody else wearing it, <laughs> but we'll see. Um, this is one of the slip face masks. It's 100% mulberry silk. It's extremely kind on the skin. It's so much comfier than wearing a normal face mask. It also has some adjusters for the ears, so you're not gonna pull your ears off with this mask by wearing a mask that's slightly too small for you, but it's not gonna be gaping either. It's completely fully adjustable. And it also comes with extra nose pieces so that if you're like me and wear glasses on a daily basis, it really annoys me when I go on the school run and I have to put my mask on when I get to the car park before I walk onto school grounds and uh, my glasses steam up and I can't see anything. So I have to take my glasses off and then I can't see Beatrice coming out of school. So I can't wave to her. So I have to stand in the same spot of the playground every single day so that she can find me because there's no way I can see her. This doesn't make my glasses steam up because it has a little nose piece at the top that you can just pinch a little bit so that the air doesn't come up and inside your glasses and steam your glasses up. So simple, really comfortable, and ever since I bought it, I've never worn any of my others. And uh, recently I have ordered three more. I. I mean, I don't think you can ever say you love a face mask. At the end of the day, I think we'd all prefer not to be wearing them. Once this is over, we're not gonna wear them as fashion items. But if I've got to wear one, I would definitely wear that one. It's lovely. So that's it for this video. I really hope you've enjoyed it. Do let me know what you've thought about it in the comment section below. I know we've gone a little bit off piste in this video mentioning products that aren't necessarily skincare and makeup related, but hand on heart, these are the products that I've been testing out in February and March, and I just felt the need to share it with you all. Don't forget that I am taking a little bit of time off over the Easter holidays to spend with the kids. So my upload schedule may be a little bit disjointed to say the least. So please make sure you have subscribed and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future uploads in the next couple of weeks. Hope to see you all in the next video. Bye everyone.